Watch 12 at 4. It's been more than two weeks since a car crash in Central Point left six teenagers injured, including one who's fighting for her life while the crash is still under investigation. One of the teenagers is finally home. Thanks for joining us on News Watch 12 at 4. I'm Brian Morton. News Watch 12's Adam Schumes joins us live in the studio. He spoke with Kaylee Michaelis and her mother earlier today. Imagine being in a car crash and not knowing what happened. That was the reality for 14 year old Kelly Michaelis. She spent 14 days at OHSU in Portland where she underwent reconstructive surgery to her face to help with the damage that she sustained from the crash. Today and every day she can truly say that she is a fighter. My name is Kelly Michaelis. I'm 14 years old and I go to Crater High School. I like being around people, hanging out with my friends and just yeah, being social. I just remember receiving a phone call from one of her friends saying that she was in an accident. At first, I thought they were pranking me. I can't even remember getting back in that car to go back to school. And I don't even remember arriving in Portland. And really don't remember being there for almost two weeks. It only felt like two days. I wish I could get that image out of my head. It was one of the scariest things I've ever seen. And I wish I could unsee it. <clears throat> I mean, I was super nervous for the surgery, but after that, I felt pretty good. They put me on a lot of pain meds, so I didn't feel that much pain. And when they told me that we might be going home soon, I felt really good to see my friends and family. And once we got off the plane, she grabbed, like squeezed my hand and said, Mom. And then I just knew, like, she was okay. I knew she was gonna fight and I knew she was still in there. I knew it was gonna be a long road to recovery, but it was just the best feeling in the world to have her squeeze my hand and say, Mom. I was thinking about this in the hospital. Um, I think it was mostly learn from yours and other people's mistakes. Just have a like bright, like just be super positive and learn from things and always keep your friends and family close to you. People that mean a lot. Callie is the true definition of a fighter. She told me that she can't go back to school until probably January. She told me that words can't describe how thankful she is for her community. We're live.